All right, I figured I would do this just in case anyone's curious. I finally got my um, RTX 3070 back from being repaired. It was a simple repair, but for some reason it took like three months. But anyway, here's my uh, uh, the two GPUs turned on and both set the optics of course and this is the same scene I rendered a couple times in a couple of different videos in the past week and I am using Blender 3.0 and I have the same settings as before alright now let's go ahead and see what they both do when they're working together render image and of course I am using this noise threshold, which point 0.1 is what it's norm, the default setting for Blender, I believe. And uh, normally I set this to zero. That's what I normally do. Normal uh, setting it to zero basically puts on automatic. Let's Blender kind of decide, and Blender does a pretty good job at deciding the noise threshold. But everything is the same as before. And we're up to 31, 32, 33 seconds. Yeah, 30, almost 37 seconds counting all the denoise. But yeah, so essentially it's running 20 seconds faster than it was before just by adding another, uh, adding the 3070. Now let's test the 3070 by itself. I think the 3070 will probably do it in about 40 five seconds I'm guessing because it's there's always uh, diminishing returns when it comes to how quickly it can render with multiple GPUs for one thing like the whole denoise sequence which took like three seconds it's essentially only using one GPU at the time and the whole build process before it starts building you click render and it starts doing all this stuff up here but the rendering hasn't started it's just using the CPU at that point and sending information to the GPUs and actually it takes ever so slightly longer to send the information to two GPUs alright so let's go ahead and just see what the 3070 will do by itself and this is actually a pretty good test because the screen capture is being handled by the 3060 so the 3070 is essentially running idle until I click render and we'll see what that does. Render image and like I said I'm guessing that this is going to be about 45 seconds. Uh, could be just a little off but the 3070 is quite a bit faster than the 3060. It's not leaps and bounds faster but it is faster but the 3060 has an advantage of having uh, 50 percent more VRAM which isn't an issue with a scene like this because it's only using uh, just under two and a half gig of VRAM so that doesn't even come in, come into play here uh, it's going to be real close to what I said about 45 seconds uh, 45 seconds counting the denoise so the 3070 on this scene is approximately 12 seconds faster than uh, the 3060 which is not bad but yeah I'm glad to have my 3070 back now I can actually render something you know have multiple instances of blender open up and assign each GPU to each instance that way I can render a whole lot quicker oh I just I, I wanted to try this and I just for some reason it escaped my mind wonder what happens if we open up like the BMW scene um, go to I don't think I have it in here yeah I, apparently I w did have it open once before on 3.0 don't save don't need to save it okay let me see I got this GPU everything's the same let me make sure the preferences are set right optics have turned both of them on now I'm guessing this is going to be in the 8 
to 10 second range, but I'm not 100% sure. Render image. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Eight seconds even. And that's with everything set to its stock setting. No optimization. And me personally, if I was to optimize this, uh, this is what I would do. I would set the noise threshold, set it to uh, probably about 0.01 is about right. And uh, turn the samples down to about, uh, let's just divide that by two and turn denoise on, turn off open denoise and put this on none and uh, that's pretty much it and then if I click render let's see how quickly that does it four and a half seconds that's pretty much how I would have it set if I was going to render it which four and a half seconds for the BMW is not bad now I can actually make it go quicker than this because let me turn this over to slot two well, I take I, I take it back. Let me do this first. File, and then I'm going to reopen it. That way everything's back to the stock settings. I'm going to click Render, and we're going to use this image that it renders as our control that we're going to compare everything else to. All right. Again, eight, eight and a half seconds. Uh, go to slot two. Now let me optimize this to a crazy degree crazy amount set this to about 300 samples because I think we can get by with that set the noise threshold to 0.05 set denoising turned on optics uh, none and come down here to performance check on persistent data uh, go to light pass change this to 24 change this to 6 6 transmission I can leave it that high but it doesn't really matter there's no volume uh, indirect light set this to 10 direct light set it to 15 and I'm not going to touch fast GI approximation I don't particularly care for that I mean it works fine for uh, you know previews now I'm going to render this twice since I got persistent data turned on the second time I render it, it will be quicker. Render image 2.13 seconds. And if we compare this to the first one, the difference, biggest difference, is the headlights. These headlights do not look anywhere near as good. But everything else looks fine. Now let's render it one more time and it should be a little bit quicker 1.21 seconds and that's because the persistent data because nothing in the scene changed it was able to save all the information that it uh, created before to build the scene and just transfer it straight to the GPU instead of having to rebuild it and I could do it again render image it's going to be the same 1.21 1.21 or 2.3 seconds that's crazy fast and considering that's not the only difference is the headlights but let me see if I can bring that back the headlights a little bit make the headlights look a little bit better uh, I'm probably if I turn take the direct light put this on zero I don't know if that would be considered direct light being that it's uh, hitting the glass of the lens I may have to actually swap these around I'm not 100% sure 
render image that looks a little bit better actually not quite as bright as before but just out of curiosity let me change these around set that back to 15 set this down to zero and then we'll re render see what happens it really made no difference which basically means probably if I set these both back to zero maybe the lighting will look better go back to select one compare it yeah it on a simple scene like this because really this direct lighting it really comes into play in like interior scenes but especially interior scenes if there's some glossy objects or at least that's been my experience but in this it didn't really make any difference I assumed because I do a lot I do some interior stuff I, th I started thinking that maybe if I clamp the light down it would help uh, lessen noise but it really made no difference in this except it squashed out the light a little bit so essentially render image 1.24 seconds and it looks like that you cannot complain about that at all but anyway now that's all for good later folks